So welcome to a very special edition of Real People here on Loch Lomond TV and I say very special because after 31 years in this building at the heart of the community basically Sandra is retiring from Sandra's Cafe she sold the business on there's new owners taking over very soon yeah and uh, so we're going to be chatting to Sandra and also a bit later on we'll be chatting to Richie Hagen about his new song Glasgow Lights and he will also be performing that live for us but back to the main business of the day and that's Sandra here who as I said after 31 years of being in Sandra's Cafe is retiring so how does that feel Sandra? Hi, I'm ready. I'm ready now, yes. Mm -hmm. We had a chat with Sandra Erlin and she, she's saying, don't get me upset because uh, she's made so many friends and it's like a, it's like a family community you have yeah. built up here, isn't it? You're, you're really the heart of the community. Sandra's Cafe is the meeting place, they, they kind of meet with their friends and Sandra had been saying earlier about the, the kind of pensions that would come in and have their wee coffee and yeah. things and um, you'd chat away to two of them or the wee friends. Uh, and have a wee right. natter, catch up with the week's business. There was a wee corner and that uh, was their corner for a Friday meet and Yeah, that's it. So great. you've probably found that as well. There's people coming in and saying, oh, that's what you, they'd usually sit at the same table. Yeah. And, oh, definitely. Uh, definitely. <laughs> and they would skill. Uh, and they know not away yet. <laughs> they're they're not my seat. Then they would table hop to get up to the corner, aye. Uh, so, so Sandra has been in this, this building here and uh, it was Sandra's Cafe for 27 years, before that it was Jo Mullen? Yes, Lomond, Lomond yes. Cafe. Lomond Cafe, yeah. so that was four years, is that yes. right? Yes. And uh, before that Sandra worked in uh, Freddy's across the road, yeah. and that's from when you left school. That's oh, right. right, yeah. So you've been in this, yeah. you've been in this trade a long, long yes. time, Sandra. Uh -huh. So, uh, so basically, everyone in the local community, Alexandria, even Renton, probably. Yeah, well, it's Renton I'm from. Yeah, so that everyone knows who you are. Aye. Yeah, because you've been a pillar of the community for all this time. Okay. Say hello to everybody. Aye, uh, everyone knows you. You're the local celebrity, really. Going to go to that far. Definitely. So, um, how does it feel when you're packing up just now? You've done a great job. Obviously during lockdown, Sandra, like most businesses, were ordered to close and then you were open again for a short spell and but you with severe restrictions, you couldn't let anyone in, then you were yeah. just doing home deliveries and things for a time. So, um, but you've kept yourself busy during the lockdown period over the past year and you've, you've made a brilliant job of it, it's looking really, really nice. Um, it's something you wouldn't have really got a chance to do when you were open because you were no, no. too busy. Oh, it's a quick coat of pain at the weekend. Yeah. If it was a bank holiday weekend you could maybe duke it in a coat of paint and freshen up. But no to the extent that we get tables, chairs, fridges, everything all renewed this time last year. Yeah. Well it was, it was just uh, last June we opened up so I had to decorate obviously April, May for opening the end of June. So yeah it was it was hard work even since that. You're lucky if I had about four weeks off actually. Because right. as soon as we were allowed to see right we're going ahead, we'd get the grant and that's where my grant went. Right. Was getting and we into, into the business. Yeah. And uh, as I say, you've done a, a great job mm -hmm. of it. We're just about to be interrupt, interrupted by a siren, <laughs> but uh, we'll, we'll talk through it. So yes, yeah, so, I mean, it is a, your customers must have given you some great feedback. Oh, they did. Uh -huh. they, they did. They like it, they like it nice and they like to make it comfortable for them. And, no, it's, it's a fair place. Yeah. Fair place. They're keeping me in a job each week, so. And it's like it would be like a home for home. Aye. A home for home for home yeah. for home. Yeah. Aye. It's very homely. That's what everybody uh -huh. sees. And what well, if you see a, a, there's a few of these single ones come in, and they're maybe sitting or sale, but everybody talks to them. Aye. You know what I mean? There's always time of the day spent with them, and even customers. Uh -huh. Customers. My customers are nice. Extremely nice. Uh -huh. And they make it their way to go over and talk to certain ones that are sitting on their own, and uh, it's great. It's great. And it must be nice to be a part of that. Definitely. To be, I mean, if you weren't here, I, mean, I suppose they could go across the road, but when you've got people prefer. Yeah. And again, I mean, I've been in a couple of times, and you, is it, you've just got that homely feeling about mm -hmm. it. You make feel people feel welcome, which is important. It's Good. not just giving them food. No, no, definitely not. Chatting away to them. So a wee blather. Uh, it might be the only blather they get all day. So, uh, at least if we make a wee difference to them, good. 
Uh, so, so 31 years, I'm sure you must have some interesting stories in that time, Quite funny times. I could, I, could, <laughs> I, could, I could write a few books, a yeah. few stories. There, there might be a book in that actually, Sandra. That, oh, that's what my friends have said. Sandra, not even one book, you could write a few. Oh, as well, we'll see when we, we totally retire. <laughs> so does, does anything spring to mind for you? Is there any kind of... Oh, I've had quite a lot of mess to clear up. And right. I wouldn't even speak about it if anybody's <laughs> sitting <in. laughs> Oh dear, oh no. <laughs> but yes, aye. Uh, you've had to deal with... Yes, I've got a strong stomach. Right. And it's a good job because some of the girls did me. <laughs> I know that's that's the sad that it's your business on so it all comes down aye. to you if no one else will do it. Oh, no, you you just say, oh Sandra, I couldn't. It's <laughs> alright. Give me the bleach. Uh, and that happens anyway, it doesn't, oh, doesn't matter. It's, it's it, 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 that life, isn't it? Anyway, there's a public. I mean, anything's yeah. possible. Yes. So, um, Believe you me, I've had a share. <laughs> Has there been any funny moments in, in the 31 years? It's oh, yes. Oh, we've had everything. We've had uh, proposals. And my son was working, he's like, Mum, Mum, look, he's doing on one knee, he's doing on one knee. <laughs> and I'm like, listen, is it all right if we take a photograph? Because we've never had this. And the couple let us take a photograph with them. And, uh, oh, we've done everything with it. Well, as at a wedding reception, we've right. had cafes, we've had meals, we've had a, uh, what was it? We had a Christmas dinner in May. But that was a fundraising thing. I mean, right. if he was, he was diagnosed with autism. Oh, right, yeah. And he needed a laptop, but the funding wasn't there to get a laptop. I says, right, we'll fund him ourselves then. So we had a Christmas dinner in May. Uh -huh. We had Santa, we had gifts for the ladies, and the gents got a wee off. And so we had a Christmas dinner. And by the time the night came, there was £500 for the, the laptop and the educational things to go on it. It was all paid for. The oh, time of night was done. Brilliant. It's great. Amazing. We were talking earlier as well about how good local people are. They're, they're quite... Totally. Man, the veil folk are the most generous, kind hearted. There it go again. <laughs> people. But you only need to suggest something and the support's always there. And all right, I could come up with all these ideas, but I, could, I don't do it myself. Because if it wasn't for the following and the encouragement for your customers, I couldn't do it myself. But they always join in, they always add to it, they put to a sponsorship, they do whatever we want to do, and you always get a response for them. They're great people. Oh, that's, that's testament to you as well, Sandra, because you're creating this lovely atmosphere for them. Oh. And you're giving them nice food, you're, you're making them feel welcome, you're chatting to them. And that's probably the way of, of showing their appreciation for you as well, which is, as I say, 31 years being the pillar of the community, because that's what you are. And uh, so it, was, it will be really difficult for you saying goodbye to this place. Totally. And you've uh, totally. been here so long, made yeah. so many new friends, and the, 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 it's, Continuous as well, isn't it? You'll know people from 31 years ago, you'll yes. have still have new people, or would have had new people coming in the door oh even my. more recently. Aye. Even the, the kids coming up the academy, they're always getting known as my, my burger boy, they're the burger boys coming, and they get Aye. a discount for coming up at lunchtime. But when you go to Balak and you're maybe sitting out and one of the burger boys come up and they've got a wee tod, toddler in a buggy, and they're like, that was one of your burger boys. Oh, oh aye, that's <laughs> right, so you are, son. Uh, it's amazing. Know, it's quite, amazing. I, I, was, I, I used to take a, a run a karate club with my friend Pauline in the, in the area as well, and mm -hmm. they were all this time when I, when I ran the club. Yeah. You see, now they're in their 30s, so it makes you feel old. That's old. amazing, uh, isn't it? You think, oh my God, that used to be that. I used to take <laughs> my karate, you know, they've, they've got their own kids. And oh, God. So, it's amazing how, so that was, I know how you feel when you say oh, that. Aye. Aye. <laughs> aye. It's amazing. Uh, so 31 years, and you mentioned, I mean, you did mention the charity side of things with it, yeah. and how good local people are, but uh, totally. another good thing that totally. you started two years ago was the Gay Pride here yes. in the area, which was um, a, a big thing as well, and it yeah. took a lot of organising, that was a, quite a big event that you, you did, so, Hi. And, Hi. and how did that all come about, Sandra? Hey, uh, I have a son who's openly gay, has been since he was 15, and at that time, I worked with a girl and her son had quite a talk of abuse and I was actually disgusted. 
and I shoot out my neck as I can do at times and sometimes when I get a fire in my belly I've just got to run with it. And I says, right, that's it, that's it. This has got to be brought to attention. So I got onto councillors, a couple of local councillors, and I'm like, right Sandra, you do what you can do and we'll be at the back of you to support you and whatever. So it right happened. Uh, <laughs> it was uh, great, it was tremendous. Tremendous. You had lots of different hats on through yes. the day, didn't you? And it was, it was a nice day, I think, if I remember oh, right. Because it's scorching. You would have thought we had ordered the sunshine for that yeah. day. It was tremendous. Uh -huh. Everything was brilliant. The, the support, uh, Michael Riley and yeah. Gary and everybody at the, the Bone Lounge, Denise, they, were, they couldn't have done enough for us. It was tremendous that they'd done everything with the roads department because a lot of a lot of ins and outs. Yes, a lot of planning. Well, yeah. mm -hmm. So everything went in our favour. Uh -huh. Even the weather on the day. And it was suitable for kids up to a certain time then we had drag queens at night time and they were asked to leave. But what entertainment. It was tremendous. The entertainment started at one o'clock. And went on to night time oh. because the kids, the local kids, all put on shows and it's great. John, that's yeah. a great thing as well because I think education, especially with yes. issues like that, should start from a young age yeah. so that it, it, it kind of promotes that everyone's different, everyone's uh -huh. unique, and, they, and I think that's a, that's a key thing. So it's great to have the kids involved and actually take Definitely. part in the whole event. Definitely. And that's probably where things can stem from if they're not being given the right messages from yes. a young age, so that's, that's an important thing. So it must have felt good when that all, when you put your oh, feet up great. at the end of the day. I felt you? as if I was in a high the whole week because uh -huh. there was maybe a local paper, Sandra, can we come and play that, get a wee talk and aye. Uh -huh. And I just sailed through that week because I thought, like, oh God, this is tremendous. How, uh -huh. how that kicked off and how it was such a success, it was great. Uh, I couldn't believe it. And I thought, that's just me and my determination. Yeah. Like, oh, that will likely fizz a loop, but no, it was uh, great. Unfortunately, Covid has uh, yes, put kind of stop to it. But we um, couldn't, eh? the following year we couldn't, eh? and obviously I don't think year. it'll go ahead this year, no. 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 And you know, that they have said, just announced that uh, music venues can open mm -hmm. and events will be allowed to happen, but it's not as clear cut as it looks. No, as, um, no. I don't think we're live entertainment for a while no. yet. No, there's um, certain volume and all that. Yes, so it's, it's typically complicated. So, yeah, so that's uh, so you d how you did that running this cafe full time and putting a, an event on to that scale because it was really quite a lot of work uh -huh. and you still managed to do all that. Just it's testament to how hard working you are, Sandra, and, and what that's you great. do for the local community. Yeah. Is that something you'll keep doing, even having given up the cafe? Hopefully, yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, anything I can do, I'd, I'd do like to help people, I like to help the veterans. My brother was involved with them and I supported them. Even he passed away a few years back and I still support the veterans, they support me and you know I, I wouldn't uh, know support local things, I like Chas, St Market's Hospice, I like to, there are tons up there that I'll need to get to them right enough, but I do like to help our local charities, no harm the other ones, I don't mean that at the least, but keep it open. Key message, keep it local, yes. especially now, because yes. really local oh, well. charities are forgotten mm -hmm. about and yep. they, all, they all have been struggling during the Covid time as well, so we really need to all stick together. That's it, I mean and they couldn't collect or anything, uh, like the veterans would usually go collecting maybe two or three weeks out the month or whatever, but they can't, can so obviously everybody's funds are going to be really, really low strange. and they couldn't help the ones that they help without their funds. So it needs to all be built up again. Uh, but, mm -hmm. but we'll all get there, won't we? Yes, I Determined. So, uh, so Sandra, thanks so much for uh, taking the time or allowing me to come in. I'm probably going to be one of the last people in here as it is, actually. Yeah. It's, I think it's <laughs> Dean Sandra's Cafe as well. At the moment, yes. At the moment, yeah. At the moment. But it's really Sandra's Cafe just now still, because you're still here at the moment, although <laughs> it's closed. But um, yeah. have you got a wee message you'd like to give to all your customers? 
I just like to thank you. Thank you so much for keeping me in the job for nearly 30 years. And I miss each and every one of you. And I'll see you about the veil. No doubt. Uh, you have your chin mics outdoors. Yes. So instead of indoors. Aye. Uh, or or you could probably, would you come in, do you think? Okay. <laughs> aye. Probably, aye. <laughs> we'll go for It'd be safe. Put your feet up. It'll be changing. Aye. That'll feel good. Uh -huh. Well, I'll need to sit with my, my back to the counter right enough, oh no. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> no so much that I don't going on. see. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thank you so much, Sandra. And, uh, and I'll say this on behalf of the community, you have been the pillar of the community, and I'm sure everyone appreciates it, and they're all going to miss you here. So, um, thank you. And, uh, well done, Sandra. You've done a lot of years' work, and uh, you deserve a wee, a wee bit of me time now, so I hope you really enjoy it. I will. I will. Thank Thanks. you. Thanks.
Okay, so that was Richie Hagen playing his own song, Glasgow Lights, and thanks for coming in and doing that, Richie. No, it's fantastic. It's great to be here, uh, Jim. You know, and I'm very appreciative. You know, the fact you've asked me. You know, so thanks very much for allowing me this opportunity. Oh, it's a pleasure having you on, Richie. And it's a great song, I have to say. So, um, how did you come up with the idea for it? Uh, I think the song itself is actually written about. You know, I've kind of lost friends and you know family members and things like that. You know, you know people leaving. Uh, you know, these shores, if you like. You know, to go to places like America, Spain, or even England and things like that. And I kind of wrote it from the perspective, you know, of me being that person and looking back, but always, you know, kind of remembering uh, Glasgow. Glasgow was where I was born. It was where I was brought up. Uh, and it obviously means a lot to me, the city. So, is that yeah. kind of idea. And it's the first song you've written yourself as well? Well, you? well, I used to uh, kind of write a lot of songs when I was younger. Um, right. I was in, you know, I was in a band uh, with my friends when I was younger, when I was still in secondary school. Um, and we kept that going to we about, you know, in my early 20s decided to go over different ways but um i think over the last year or so you know certainly through this lockdown period um i've started playing my guitar a lot more jim right i'm part of this group you know this kind of online group uh, it's called the isolation live lounge so i've actually got a lot of kind of virtual friends you know all over the world now you know we still haven't had the opportunity to meet yet but what we've been trying to do is kind of post songs you know you know kind of one a day if we can manage it um, so it's made me dust the guitar down, you know, learn new songs, but also as well, kind of, you know, uh, keep your uh, morale high, if you like. Uh, you know, we listen to all this different music. So, yeah, that's where it uh, kind of came from. You know, playing the guitar a lot more, you know, a, a kind of reflection, you know, back in the last few years as well. And I decided to write this song, Glasgow Lights. So, I'm uh, yeah. glad you enjoyed it. That was a great song. So, um, you mentioned the, you mentioned the groups. Is that home training musicians to basically join? Or was it? Did it start at the start of the last lockdown? How did that all come about? Yeah, well, it kind of started off. It was one fella in partic uh, particular. Um, it kind of you know set up the group as I say, isolation live lounge, and it really spread you know through word of mouth. You know, before you knew it, it was like fifty members. Then it was two hundred. Then it was a thousand. I think we're almost up to two thousand members now. Um, and again, it's really, you know, it's given everybody the opportunity, you know, to kind of uh, keep going through this period. And I certainly think it's helped a lot of people. It's helped me as well and my sanity as well. Um, oh. I'm not kind of sure that my wife would agree with that, mind you. But, uh, no, she knows the words now to the songs. And yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah well, as soon as I bring that guitar out, she goes into another room. So, so right. there you go. <laughs> but yeah, it's been fantastic. It really has. So at the moment, it's not available to buy or download, but uh, you're looking at, doing something with the song Rich, aren't you? Yeah, I think, to be honest, uh, I'm maybe going to try and get it released in some format. Um, you know, if I could maybe release it on Spotify or whatever. But, I, I mean, I'm going to take the opportunity, you know, uh, to have a look into that side of it. And maybe even if I could release it and maybe do do something for charity or something, uh, to be honest, Jim. Nice. You know, any money at all that was, you know, kind of earned from it would go straight to, you know, you know some kind of chosen charity. I would love to do that. So, you know, certainly I'm, I'm going to try and do that and I'll be able to let you know how that goes in the next few weeks or so. Great. And of course, the song's now available here to, to watch any time yeah, and yeah, on YouTube is. at the moment as well. Yes. Um, so it, you can listen to it there for the moment, but mm -hmm. hopefully soon it will be out in Amazon and iTunes and yeah. all, the, all the different outlets and Spotify and all these places yeah, uh, to download fantastic. and listen as well. That would, that would be good. So it's a great song, so I'm sure it will be popular. I'm sure there'll be some charity there that will be interested in having that. Is there? Yeah as they're a, a wee bit of revenue for them. Mm -hmm. So uh, good luck with that, Richie. Oh, fantastic. So you've joined this group during yeah. lockdown, so that's kept your sanity. So that's so you've been writing music and, and, mm -hmm. and looking at the non-live side of things, which mm -hmm. is what you've been used to. And you do work full-time as well, Richie. Yes, so, yes, I do. Um, so it's, uh, 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 how's, how's that been for you, just looking at being more creative rather than just going out? Have you enjoyed the creative process of it? Yeah, well, to be honest, I think that's kind of came about you know, the fact that I've been kind of listening to a lot of, you know, good artists, mm -hmm. uh, you know, bands like the Beatles, you know, bands like the Travelling Wilburys, you know, bands like Delamitri, and playing a lot of these songs just on acoustic guitar, Jim. And I, and I think for me, I've started to realise, you know, there isn't any kind of tried and, and tested way of writing a song. It's all about just kind of getting your feelings down, yeah. trying yeah. to find a melody, um, and just try to have a good subject matter as well. And... You know, as I say to you, for all the reasons which I said, it's, uh, you know, it's a song which I'm very, very proud of, uh, and I just hope everybody enjoys it. 
Um, and I'm sure they will because it's a fantastic song. And what's interesting as well is my, my music that I've written, I've mentioned this on my radio show this morning as well, Richie, that um, basically Richie went to HQ Studios in Glasgow. So we're giving HQ a wee shout out. How you doing, Gregor? Hope you're watching. Yes, Gregor, how uh, you doing? A fantastic G, job you done. He sure did. He did a fantastic job of all my music as well. Now, Gregor is multi-talented and uh, when you, you're playing the guitar there, so you probably play guitar on your track, but basically I don't play anything. Yeah. So Gregor was a drummer, he was a mm -hmm. guitarist, he was doing everything in all my tracks. Multi-talented. Yeah, he's absolutely fantastic. Uh, as I say, I wrote the song just a couple of weeks ago, and, and I called Gregor, and he managed to, you know, slot me in uh, just yeah. recently. And we went in and we recorded it uh, in a space of, you know, seven hours. You know, Gregor was playing the drums, he was playing the bass guitar, he was playing the lead guitar, and I just basically had to sing, you know, the main line and the harmonies and and play the rhythm guitar. So, yeah, fantastic. You know, yeah. you know, fantastic. I was kind of delighted with the end result. So. Yeah, it is. It's, it's great production. Great song, great production as well. So, Thank uh, you. So what's your plans for the future? Are we charity single, Richie? Any, any more songs in you? Any, any more releases? Are you think um, an album, possibly? Well, well, I think, to be honest with you, uh, I'm, I'm going to keep trying to kind of write you know, a few of my own songs. It's, no, it's not to do anything kind of major with it. I just, I just really enjoy doing it. Um, I still love just playing the acoustic guitar and things. It, you know, it kind of really helps me uh, you know, chill out and... You know, music's been in my life since I was 12, 13 year old and I don't see that changing at all. So, uh, yeah, I would like to maybe, you know, record a few other songs in my, you know, kind of original material, but, you know, I'll certainly just keep on playing guitar and singing. That will never change. Brilliant. Well, thanks so much for coming on, Rich. It was a pleasure to have you on the show and I know you're busy working and, and yeah. uh, but, uh, as we were saying earlier as well, we've both got weekends free, which uh, is great. In some respects, but, uh, <laughs> miss the money. But yeah. anyway, yeah, so yeah, so it's great to have you on, and um, thanks again, and good luck with everything. No, that's great, fantastic, Jim. Thanks for asking. Thank you. Me, Thank you. <laughs>